Stay safe. Stay active. And stay healthy. <laughs>
This is what a bunny hop looks like. We're going to move both hands first onto the floor and then we're going to jump two feet to meet them. Hands first, then feet. Hands first, then feet. That one's a bit trickier to try and remember. Hands first, then feet. Now you can choose where you're going to travel at home or at school. So it could be that you travel to another room if you're at home. It could be that you travel to a different wall if you're at school. So show me guys your bunny hops, hands, then feet, all the way round to the area that you want to travel to. Hands, then feet, hands, then feet. Good job. See if you can glue your knees together and glue your feet together. So stick them together. Well done bunny hoppers. And don't forget to bunny hop all the way back to the screen too. Whew. Hope everybody's nice and warm now. Okay, before we go on doing some more traveling, more journeys, we're gonna make sure our muscles are nice and warm too. So I'd like to make sure we can stretch our muscles a bit further. So if you'd like to stand up in the space that you're working in, and I want you to have a go at copying me. So I'm gonna see if I can keep my feet together, but slowly lower my hands down doesn't matter if I don't touch my toes, but I want to see if I can reach down, keeping my legs really straight, seeing how close I can get my fingers to the floor. Good job, everybody. And I want you the same thing, but reach your arms up tall this time. So reaching your arms above your head. If you want to come up onto your tiptoes to make it a bit trickier, seeing if you can still stretch and stay still like a statue. Good job. This time, can you make your body big and wide? Stretching your fingers as far away from one another and your toes without losing your balance. So keeping your body upright. We don't want to fall over reception classes. Good job. Okay. Now, in our last lesson, we did stretching and curling. So I wonder if you could show me a stretch shape. Really stretch your body. It could be this one on our feet. Or it could be down onto the floor, stretching our hands and our feet. You choose how you're going to stretch your body to make it really long. Good job, some lovely stretch shapes. Now I'd like you to curl your body. So make your body into a curve or a curl shape. It could be like the one I did before, curling our body at our waist. You could come down to the floor and curl your body up small or on the side of your body. How are you gonna curl your body, guys? Lovely curve shapes. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more stretches, everybody. Can you make a butterfly by placing your feet together and your knees out to the side? Brilliant, and I like to hold my feet on this one. Can you make your butterfly's wings flap by bringing your knees up and down, keeping your feet touching in the middle? Good job, everybody. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna put our elbows inside our knees and see if we can push our legs down. Now, it should feel a little bit of a pull here on the inside of our thighs, that's okay. If it's a bit tricky, move your feet a bit further away from your body. If it's really easy, start with your feet closer to your body and see if you can get your knees quite close to your floor. Good job. Okay, while we're doing that, we're gonna make sure our muscles in our neck are nice and warm. So can you put your ear to your shoulder to stretch out your neck muscles? Well done, reception class. Let's go to the other side as well. Brilliant. Okay, hopefully you're nice and warm now, ready for our first activity. Hi, welcome back reception classes. Hopefully your bodies are nice and warm after our warm up and stretch and we're ready for the next activity. So, so far we've gone on some different travelling journeys and we're going to carry on thinking about travelling and moving from one part of our space to another in lots of different ways. Now, I know you guys are super creative and you can come up with lots of interesting ways of going from one side of your space to the other. But I wonder if you can have a go at 
copying my interesting ways of traveling. So we're going to be different animals in a moment, and I'm going to show you how these different animals might travel from one side of your space to the other. And I'd like you to have a go at copying to see if your animals look the same as mine. Now, the first animal we're going to meet is a giraffe. So I want you to think about what a giraffe looks like and how they might move around the space. Now already you're probably thinking that giraffes are really tall because they have long, long necks. So for this type of traveling, we're going to travel really high, okay? And we're going to do a tiptoe walk. So this is what tiptoes are going to look like. So you're going to come up onto your feet. So your heels, the bottom of your feet don't touch the floor. And you're going to put your arms above your head to get your body even more stretched and tall. And I want you to see if you can move around your space on your tiptoes with your arms above your head. And see if you can really control your body. Good job, everybody. We've got some really good giraffes. Walking giraffes. Good job. Can you turn them into jogging giraffes, everybody? Still staying on your tiptoes, but moving a little bit faster. Well done. And you can be a jogging giraffe in lots of different directions. Sometimes forwards, sometimes backwards if we're careful. Sometimes sideways jogging giraffe. Well done. So giraffes are really tall. So we need to do really high actions to be like giraffes. The next animal we're going to meet is the complete opposite to a giraffe because they are really low to the floor. So I wonder if you can guess what animal we're going to be next when we travel. Have you guessed it, reception classes? It's a snake. Now, I wonder if you can get your body super low to the floor. So maybe either your tummy or your back is touching the floor the whole time. And I wonder if you can slide on your tummy or your backs around your space. You may need to use your hands to push and pull your body so that you can slide. Good job. Now, depending on what floor you've got, it might be easier if you've got hard floor. It might be a little bit trickier if you're doing this on carpet. But see if you can slide around on either your tummy or your back keeping your body really low like a snake. And maybe you can try sliding in curved shapes because snakes don't always move in a straight line. They like going round things. They go in curves or curls. Good job, everybody. So we've met a giraffe and we've met a snake. The next one we're going to meet is a bear, okay? And I'm gonna show you what a bear crawl looks like. Watch first before you copy. So for our bear crawl, we're going to be on two hands and two feet. OK, we're going to put our hands on the floor, keep both knees bent and stick our bottom high in the air and see if we can travel on our hands and our feet with our bottom nice and high. Can you copy my bear crawl reception classes? Keeping those hands nice and flat. Knees bent and bottom sticking up in the air. Well done, guys. Some awesome bear crawls. That one can be quite tiring, can't it? Good job. OK, so we've got giraffes. We've got snakes and we've got bears. Right. The next animal we're going to try and be is a crab. Now, if there's somebody there at home you can talk to or at school, I wonder if you can work out what's really interesting about the way a crab travels because it doesn't travel forwards. I wonder what direction a crab travels in. Have you guessed it yet, reception? They travel sideways. So this is how we are going to travel like a crab. So we're going to be on our two hands and two feet, but this time our tummy is up to the ceiling and we're going to see if we can travel sideways like a crab. Okay, so this one, again, is quite tricky because it works our hands and our feet. And we try really hard to travel sideways like a crab. Can you copy me? Does your travelling action look the same as mine? 
Wow, guys, awesome crab action. I love the way we're all moving in a sideways direction. Wow. So let's go back over what animals we've met so far. Can you remember any? Hopefully you can remember more than one. What was first? Giraffes, brilliant. They were really tall. That was our tiptoe walking. What do we do next? Because they were really low to the floor. Have you guessed it? Our snakes. That's when we were slipping and sliding on our tummies or backs. Our third animal, have you guessed it? It's on our hands and our feet with our bottom high. That was our bear crawl. Our fourth animal was the one we've just done. So what was that one, guys? It moved in a sideways direction. Yeah, it was our crabs. We're going to do one more animal, which is going to be our spider walk. OK, now this one is a trickier version of our bear crawl. So for this one, you're still going to travel on two hands and two feet with your bottom high. But you're going to see if you can get really straight arms and really straight legs. Let's see if you can do it. So two hands, two feet, bottom high. But see if you can travel with straight arms and straight legs, guys, because that one is pretty tricky. And that's our spider walk. Bottom high, arms and legs really straight. Well done, guys. So many of you are trying so hard to copy my animal actions. Wow. Maybe there's one of those you'd like to try again. So if you want to pause the video at any point to practice any of those animal actions, please do. Right, guys, so we've got five different animal actions. I wonder if we can remember some of the actions that match the right animals. Let's see, I'm gonna do them too so I can help you, but you might even be able to remember them without looking at me. Show me your giraffes. Oh, I can see lots of you getting really tall, really high on your tiptoes. Maybe you're a jogging giraffe. Brilliant work. How about our spider walk? That's the one we've just had a go at. That was on our two hands and two feet and our legs and arms really straight. Good job, excellent spider walks everybody. What about our slippery snakes? Can you show me how you might travel like a snake on your tummy or on your back? Good job, everybody. You're so low to the floor in your snake actions. How about our crabs? Can you remember how the crabs travelled? Because they didn't go forwards, did they? How did the, tra how did the crabs travel, guys? That's right, they went sideways and they went on their hands and their feet with their tummy up to the ceiling. Well done, cheeky crabs. Okay. Next animal is going to be the giraffes again. Can you show me how you're going to travel as high as you can, like our giraffes on your tiptoes? Well done, everybody. How about our bears? Can you remember how the bears moved around? They moved on two hands and two feet. They had their bottoms really high and they had their legs bent. Can you copy me in our bear crawl? Well done, everybody. Crabs. Can you remember moving sideways like a crab? Tummy up to the ceiling. Excellent. How about those slippery snakes again, guys? Can you travel by sliding on your tummies or your backs? Wow, you are awesome snakes. And relax, reception class. Wow. So we've learnt five different animal travelling actions today. I wonder which one was your favourite to do? Hmm, I like travelling like a jogging giraffe. I also really like the elephant walk. I wonder what was your favourite? Maybe you could challenge some people at home to see if they can copy some of your animal actions. Or maybe you can create some of your own animal actions. There's so many out there and they travel in lots of different ways. OK, guys, we have worked so hard today. We're going to finish with a cool down. So if you'd like to go back to the space that you're working in and have a go at copying my actions. 
Okay, guys, we're going to reach up tall like our giraffes earlier. Come up onto our tiptoes, keeping our arms stretched above our heads. And back down, then back up again. Really tall giraffes, then back down. And one last time, up like a tall giraffe. And back down, good job. I wonder if you could show me the crab that was on two hands and two feet. That was this one, good job. I wonder, can we try and stay there in this shape? Can we stay there on our hands and feet and bring our belly buttons to the ceiling? Oh, that's a toughie, guys. Good job. Okay, what about our spider walk? Do you remember what that one looked like? That was on two hands and two feet too. And I wonder if we can stay in this shape to stretch out our muscles in the backs of our legs. Because if you keep them really straight, you'll really feel them tug. Excellent. Now, we did this animal at the start of our lesson, our warm-up. I wonder if you can remember what the butterfly looked like. Awesome, I can see those butterfly wings already. That's where we put our feet together and our legs out to the side. Good job. Let's make those butterflies' wings flap. Brilliant. And maybe you could have a go at being a butterfly that travels around your space at some point too and see if you can travel like a butterfly. At the moment, it looks like we're resting as a butterfly on a leaf. Good job, everybody. Wow, reception class, you've worked so hard today. I hope you're gonna tune in for another gymnastics lesson. Until then, stay safe, stay active, stay healthy.